By default, all operators will see the full directory. It is possible for each operator to create subset directories, which we call personal directory groups. To create a personal directory group, simply right click anywhere in the directory screen, go to personal directory group and select new. Give your personal directory group a name and from there you can choose a filter. A filter can be used to automatically populate that group. For example, I'm going to choose department is equal to development. This will automatically create a new group along the top called development and populate all the users in it who have a department set to development. This group will dynamically update with any new users or anybody that leaves. It will also update if somebody's department changes to development. It's also possible to drag and drop manual entries into this group. I'm going to drag and drop Alan Harmon into the development group because he does some part-time work for them, as does Benny Grant. It's also possible to create a blank directory group. You can do this by going personal directory group, new, give your group a new name, and this time don't select anything in the filter options. When you select OK, it will warn you that you are about to create an empty personal directory group. Are you sure you wish to continue? Select Yes and it will create a new group along the top with no entries. This is going to allow me to drag and drop a random selection of people that I might transfer calls through to on a regular basis. Because you've entered manual contacts, this group isn't automatically updated and will need manually editing. If you wish to remove somebody from the group, simply right click on their contact, go to personal directory group and select remove contact from group. You'll get a warning saying that you're about to remove the speed dial group. Are you sure you wish to continue? Select yes. If you wish to remove the group altogether, right click anywhere in the directory screen, go to personal directory group and select delete. This will warn you that the personal directory group will no longer exist in the system. Are you sure you wish to continue? Select yes and that directory group will be moved from the top. Each operator can create up to nine additional personal directory groups. These personal directory groups are personal to the operator so none of the other operators will see each other's personal directory groups.